<laughs> do you have like a high and a low just from the whole time you were there? Like, is there something that sticks out as like a high and something that was just yeah. a low? Um, I think one of the big, well, my, my biggest high was probably the pool party saying goodbye to everyone. Um, I really, well, you know, really, really enjoyed that. And it made, it was really nostalgic and just looking back and I loved, actually, I also loved New Year's Eve, New Year's Eve. I don't think I'll ever forget New Year's Eve when we're all dressed as, you know, and that was quite serious. Like at the time we were really having fights and now I look back and watch it and I'm like, when I took the apology back, you know, when I woke up in the morning and go, actually, I'm not sorry. And the things, you know, also just fighting with people when we were dressed as animals. It was absolutely genius. Genius TV. I watch it and just, I mean, it's, it is it's an iconic moment, moment. All of us having this ridiculous fight dressed as, you know, dressed in onesies. It was brilliant. Um, and the lowest low, I think, was probably, I mean, I, I, I'm very open about it. I think, you know, just the being sort of, what I'd say, let down or betrayed by my girlfriend that sort of really wanted to come on the show. And it really, the trouble is these shows bring out the best and the worst in people and fame or wanting to be famous or wanting to get on a show like this. Some people will do anything. And, you know, bringing on a friend that I thought I was doing a favor and then she went for me with it. I thought, I mean, I knew she would go for me, but I honestly thought she'd go for me at the end of the first season. I didn't think she'd go for me at the end of the first episode. <laughs> it's a topic I, I talk about. Show. It's like the addiction of fame, right? It's like yeah. people just. Well, I think, you know, when you have a fan favorite, um, you kind of, some girls or some people are just threatened by that and they just want to go for you. They just want to knock you off your perch. Whereas, you know, um, and I get that. I, I, I do get that. But, you know, the, the, the audience see through it. Unless you've done something terrible to the person on screen, they don't really understand why someone would go, you know, hell for leather straight for you at the beginning just because they want your spot. It doesn't work like that. And who are you talking about for everyone who may not know? Well, you should know. It was Adela. Adela, well, I haven't spoken to Adela since. I know, but I'm just, you know, in case yeah. someone doesn't know, I, I assume that you guys to not speak anymore today. No, I won't. You know, once once I've been crossed like that, again, I don't expect, you know, so I, I don't mind fighting about the moment, but I don't like being sort of taken advantage of. That makes sense. I mean, there was this whole sense that it was, you know, it was an ensemble cast. We knew everyone, but it really kind of was centered around you. Was that, do you think like the editing or that just like you really were the linchpin? I mean, to me, like you are the queen of ladies of London. I've spoken to all of your colleagues but I'm just being honest. That's what people think when they think of Ladies of London. Caroline is the queen. Yeah, but you know what? If they're honest, and they're, most of them are, to be honest, because you know when you, um, they would say the same. They all they all call me the queen, and in a in a nice, sweet way. Because actually, the funny thing is, when you're in it and you're all vying for each other's attention, like one of us has to be queen, right? One of us had to be that. It happened. You can't choose who's going to happen, how that's going to happen. It naturally falls in. I didn't go into that saying that I'm going to be the queen. I did not. In, in a roundabout way, somehow the audience picks, right? Um, they picked me just as fair enough as they could have picked any of them. And I think, you know, at the end, at some point it annoyed people. And then, you know, people sort of, now I think they would take it back on any level. They would, they're literally like, let's do it again. You can be queen. You know, they are, they, they, you need someone for people to love. You need someone for people to hate. You need someone to be the, you know, this. And, and, and that's what makes a good show. It's not like, you know, I wasn't being paid double of them because I was the queen. So, you know what I mean? It's like, it, 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 it's all the material, really. It's like being in a boy band, isn't it? It doesn't matter if you've got one lead singer. It matters that you're all up there. Completely. And sometimes it's hard to carry the show. You're just like, someone do something. Like, I'm exhausted today. Right? Yes. Gosh. You're like, can someone please bring something? Like, it's hard. It's, a, it's good to have an ensemble cast. It is. And I think, you know, but also we, I, I had such a busy, busy, busy life at that time that, you know, and I had such characters around me. Maybe that, you know, also really helped me. It really had, you know, uh, I already had a story within my story. 